Yes, guys, you have read correctly. I believe Bitcoin could be on the verge to move here into higher levels that we have not seen for over two months. And there are signs right now in the chart hinting that this will happen in the next coming days. And I'm going to show you proof why I believe that this is the case and how this has worked over and over again what I'm going to show you. If you want to know what I'm talking about, then definitely make sure that you stay around here until the end of the video and that you are subscribing to the channel, that you also like this video, please, and activate the bell so that we push the YouTube algorithm that more people can see it and that you always will be notified when I put out one of these important updates. And now let's get directly to uh, the content for today. So I'm here again on the CMEs futures chart, on the four-hourly chart. And remember what I told you guys, that there is a potential that we are creating a CME gap uh, if the price would have closed at a really strange level. But we actually closed yesterday at $26,445. So if we are not moving far away from that, then we most likely will not have a CME gap by Monday. <clears throat> and then there's nothing to fill, which will be good. But we still have the gap underneath us here around uh, between 20 and 21k and above us at 29.90 all the way up to 29,510 dollars and now we are a little bit closer to the gap above us which is also acting as a magnet it could be that the gap down here never ever will get filled if we move first all the way up here that is a possibility and something else that i actually just saw now is that we have potentially already broken this downwards trending line here. Yeah. So this downward sloping resistance line is broken. The only thing that I can think about is that we most likely come back and retest this and then continue higher. That is a possibility. So for the time being, everything looks good on the CME's futures chart for Monday, but there is tomorrow a chance that we see a spike to the upside. And I'm gonna show you <clears throat> where the spike will be coming from. But first of all, let's also talk about the dollar index really quick. <clears throat> so of course, over the weekend, the dollar index is not moving because the market is closed. But I believe on Monday that we see continuation to the downside, something like this. Now we break the 102 point level and go all the way down to 101 potentially and only from there might we see a bounce only from there so but that is definitely the target here to the downside and that will of course continue to lift up crypto and uh, bitcoin and the overall uh, risk on uh, asset space now let's go into bitcoin and <laughs> i'm going to show you now multiple reasons why I believe that we're going to move here higher. First of all, I'm here on the three day chart and we have a little bit more than eight and a half hours left before this candle is closing, today's candle here in green. And the next one most likely will break out out of that falling wedge in my opinion. And what will that have for an effect on different indicators? So first of all, we will be above 51 point uh, percent to the upside. And again, every time when the RSI went over 51, we saw a spike in the price to the upside. So if we are closing the candle as it is, we will get over the 51% level, which will lead to a spike in the price action over the next three days. That is more or less guaranteed if we move by tonight above the 51% level on the RSI. And the stochastic RSI has also flipped bullish here with a buy signal to the upside. Uh, I want to check the EMA ribbon. Also, the EMA ribbon gets a retest right now. We are technically still in an uptrend and it gets a retest at the, at the top of the ribbon right now. So if we are closing again, the candle as it is, the next candle most likely will push above the ribbon again and then we stay above the ribbon and continue to go higher here. On the three day chart, the next level of resistance would be at $30,500 approximately. Now, when we move to the lower time frames, to the 30 minutes, here, the pattern that I had shown you yesterday, here, this bull flag has played out. That was the candle that we saw while I was recording the video it was a huge um, indecision candle and I have seen something that it had something to do with something 
in Michigan or Mississippi, there was a report coming out um, and that report, I forgot what report it was, but there came a report out and that caused that candle and then everything went bananas. So the price pumped like crazy to the upside as expected. We uh, hit the target here, everybody that was trading that. Congratulations to you guys. Uh, I was not trading this, but I was instead in altcoins. Um, so I'm, I'm good. I made uh, nice money on that move here to the upside in altcoins. And then we started to create another bull flag that also broke to the upside and also hit the target. And now we are in a downwards trending channel that also, in my opinion, will break to the upside. So the target is the top of the channel at $26,770 approximately. So if you want to take a long position, wait for the break of $26,510. We are right now at $26,500-ish. Let me see. Let me see this quick here. Is that still the case? Yes. So that's still still good. Uh, so $26,500. 485-ish right now. So if it jumps $30 higher, that would be my entry with a candle close above that level only then. Because the stochastic RSI is at the bottom, is oversold, most likely is going to pinch to the upside. And also the RSI is in bullish territory, is above 51%. So the likelihood that we continue here to go higher is quite high right now. And just for measurement, let's have a look at this for a long position here 10 all the way up here and my stop loss would be kind of so here I would have a really really tight stop loss so because that is a scalp trade you can only make like a percent on that so here I would go with 50x uh, into that trade here with 0.3% uh, stop loss, that would be 15% against a 15% 50, uh, stop loss against a 50, yeah, 52.5% gain. Um, and that makes it worth it to me because the risk to reward ratio is over 3.6 to 1. So that is a good risk to reward ratio if we break here to the upside only then. Only then I would take that. So and just that you know where to set your stop loss, 26,430 would be the stop loss. Take profit is 26,790-ish. Uh, so that would be my take profit. I will leave it as it is here and we're going to see how this is going to play out. Then when we move to this for hourly chart, so this downwards broadening falling wedge here has finally broken to the upside and here's something interesting that I want to show you guys and that is my proof to you that the 51% rule on the RSI always works out insanely accurate like clockwork. Now look what happened. The price came down to the middle line in the falling wedge, found support there and bounced off and went to the upside. And around here, that candle here, that four hourly candle here, look what happened. At that moment, we went with the RSI over 51 and we saw a pump to the upside. And now look how big that pump was on the four hourly chart. It's kind of like here. So that was a 5% pump to the upside. So if you would have put only a little bit of leverage on that, let's say 20%, you would have made 100% to the upside on that. So now we are outside the falling uh, broadening wedge and the target of that is the top of the wedge, which is again at $28,200. And that would bring us above the resistance level that we are potentially facing at $27,500. And also here on this four hourly chart, this will bring us uh, also above or close to be above the point of control on the VPVR. So here on the four hourly chart are still some other levels to watch. You see it is downward sloping resistance line in white. That is sitting right now at $26,750. We came perfectly up there to retest it and got rejected um, earlier yesterday. But I think there is still some room left for another retest 
based on the 30 minutes chart, what I had shown you just a couple minutes earlier, go back and look at it again. So based on the 30 minutes chart on the lower time frames, there could be some juice left to try to break that level and go over the golden ratio at $27,220 and settle there, let the uh, longer term indicators cool down a little bit and let the price action go sideways above the golden ratio and then we most likely see the pump above $28,200 and if we're above that, 30K is back on the cards, guys. It's back, in, uh, sorry, in the cards. It's back in the cards then if we get above that level but it all depends on how the 30 minutes chart and the lower time frames are acting in the next couple hours and how the three day chart is closing. But I reckon the three day chart will close bullish and it will lead to a pump in the next 72 hours for a Bitcoin. And guys, don't forget, if you want to take that trade with me together, that is a trade that I take myself, uh, then do that here on Bybit. You still get $30,000 if you sign up with my specific link there. And I will also start copy trading there again. So if you want to follow my personal trades that I do on Bybit, <clears throat> then definitely sign up and you can just follow my trades to make passive money there after you deposit a little bit of money on the platform. And if you do KYC there and you deposit at least $100 and you have no Bybit account yet, you will get $50 for depositing $100. And if you have a Bybit account and you did not complete KYC yet and you have at least deposited $50, you will get $20. So definitely take advantage of that. And also, you can also trade with me together on Ascendix. Also, they are going to open a position. They used to get $2,000 as free bonus and you can earn in BTC while you are trading there. So that is also really, really nice. Also only with the link below, guys. So I would definitely take advantage of that. Now let's talk really quick about the Bitcoin dominance. The Bitcoin dominance is already going down, but I reckon that when once we get the pump in Bitcoin and we go over 51% on the RSI, that we're going to see the test of the 50% level here but will get rejected and then the altcoins will go absolutely ballistic across the board, in my opinion. So, But first, I think we need to see the retest of the 50% level. Guys, that's it already for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know. Do you believe that I'm right and the 51% rule on the RSI is again fulfilling its prophecy let me know in the comments below and make sure that you smash up the like button hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell and i'll see you then again tomorrow